Hello there, my name is Steve Henderson, and today I want to share with you the Year 12 Virtual Reality application that my students will be building for their final project. This will be a transdisciplinary approach where students will work with a STEM teacher of their choice all the way down to grade one, all the way up to grade 12. So in grade one, they might learn how to build an adding system, building cubes and putting the cubes and placing them and stacking them all up. Or in year 12, they might want to build an engineering system where they build a bridge and then apply all the stress testing tools to it to see what happens with it. So there's a lot of fun. I'm super excited about this project and I want to share with you the things that I've learned along the way. So the grant that we need, we need about $10,000 to set up a class set of 20 Oculus Quests so that we can build um, the virtual reality worlds that get sent down to those, those STEM areas. The literature supporting this project was a study that was done in 2017 by Jensen and Conranson, which identified that there was a lack of software applications in educational settings using VR. That's what the whole purpose behind this assignment is because it's brand new technology and there's a lot of fun things that can be applied. The inspiration for this project came from a transdisciplinary approach that I read about um, with the designing of a tractor using VR simulations. So instead of actually building the tractor in the real world, they ran these simulation versions of the engine and we're able to identify um, ways of making the engine more efficient. Now this saves a lot of money and also a lot of time of running prototypes because the VR world can be done just simply with a computer and a VR headset, which is pretty cool. So then the purpose of this task is to get students to create their own VR application to teach those STEM topics at various levels of the school. So far, what the students have been learning is Unity. So we've been learning this framework over the last couple of weeks before they go off and do this project. And they've learned all the core skills here before they get to go um, in and build their VR world. So the design challenge, like I've said, is the students get to choose an area of STEM, and then they'll create a learning tool to help that particular STEM teacher in the area um, teach that concept using virtual reality. Students will code the application um, using Unity and C Sharp and then test it on the appropriate year level. So some examples of ideas that we've had so far is a golf simulator where people, students will learn how to build the, sim, um, the parabolic curve and then identify how high the curve um, in the curve that it's gone or what the initial speed is because they can actually pause the golf swing and then see physically where the parabolic curve occurs. Then the Mars simulation to see the effects of gravity, a car simulator to show acceleration, and lastly, a pulley simulator by adding more pulleys into the system showing how much it can decrease the load, which is pretty cool. So then we've got a few things that we wanna look at. So the subject here, we're using the framework we've covered in class so far. I'm the computer scientist. The rules are that we need to follow the NESA software design and development curriculum. There's going to be two months of class time allocated with them group, working groups of three. They must follow the software design cycle, defining, planning, implementing, testing, and maintaining. And then there's going to be the iterative approach using the design cycle to see what happens with that. The tools, they've got to use this, the software design curriculum. Computer science teacher, me and other teachers, um, STEM teachers that they're going to need to work with to work on their particular areas of focus. Students' previous software development experience is going to help them here. Learning the Unity and C-sharp programming language is going to help. And then also the online tools that we just looked at before. The community, there's going to be year 12 students, teachers of STEM, online Unity expert, experts that we found in a Discord, and then students with inside of the subjects that they want to test on to see if it's actually effective, the application that they build. The division of labor is going to be um, split between um, the students, so they need to clearly understand what part they're responsible inside of their groups of three, and then how do they work together as a team. So dividing that group work fairly. The STEM teacher then can work with uh, the student to make sure the application is very authentic. And then we've got experts in the area that can help identify areas to improve. And we need that last little bit of funding, which is what this um, grant proposal was here to help with. So that all builds together to give our final um, STEM VR project that the students will build. And the outcomes that they'll get from that is they'll create a virtual reality application that will help teach STEM in that chosen domain area. They'll test the efficacy of their application with the chosen area and the age group. They get to work with the STEM teacher to identify what the biggest pulley based off the Kelly and Knowles framework that we've looked at. They then, uh, students get to apply the 21st century skills when uh, building the application with the four C's. And lastly, students get to engage their school community and potentially others around the um, world by building a revolutionary learning tool. So, we want the students to understand what the main pulleys within the application are so that they can work explicitly with that teacher to identify, is it technology, is it the engineering, is it the science, or is it the math 
and then which one has the biggest effect on raising up that understanding for the students based on the Kelly and Knowles framework that we've covered in class. Here's a little picky showing what we've been doing so far. Um, students have had a lot of fun learning about um, how to use VR and with the applications that they've been able to build and test straight away. Some of the issues that to consider seeing the links to other subject areas. So making sure that the, that the units of work beforehand lead into this particular idea and they have the understanding of what STEM means. What coding skills have been taught at the younger years and what um, design ideas that they've done. What's the best way of teaching C-sharp coding? And then as more projects get built to give us more demonstration in the future. So how, how do we uh, make sure that they're not just copying and pasting other people's ideas and coming in up with more unique versions of the projects? We then also need to make sure that the scope of the projects are the same. So a primary STEM subject compared to a senior STEM subject. How do we balance that so that we make sure that the students feel um, that they've been marked effectively and they're not just going to choose one because it's going to be easier for them to get the best mark. And then we also need to make sure that students are authentically engaged in their chosen topic. So hopefully that's giving you some idea of my idea for what the grant um, proposal that I want to do. Any feedback we really appreciate it um, as we try and build this. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.